Spice and it is the Grill Show. Hopefully, I'm no, sorry, I'm DS and I'm I'm so excited because we're wrapping up season one, and for me, it's somewhat nostalgic. Like all the things I've learned from hype men, the DJs, the rap, you know. So yeah, I just really smile just enter the entertainment industry. You know, I just that's my career. All right, my name is Becky Moya, your home girl, and I'm so excited to be back. Now, the Grill Show brings to you all of the entertainment practitioners, the players, the big names, and whatnot in the entertainment industry, and we get to find out their journey. And of course, we put them on the hot seat to see their, if they can burn or if they survive. Don't go anywhere when we return. We're meeting our first act for today. Stick around. <music> never left with me in the studio is one of the upcoming artists doing so well in the music industry his name is cartello hello hey yo what's up what's up my yo? life cartello i know hey. right <laughs> oh, <laughs> you about to get in the game you said it yourself yo I nice, 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 I'm nice. Considered. how are you doing i'm good man i love good, the good, blend good. in your hair i'm seeing gold i'm seeing wine it's actually red yeah, bro, like, it's kind of like fading off. My stylist was a bit caught up with stuff, so. You were caught up with stuff on your head? No, my caught up with stuff. Don't be caught up with stuff on my head. <laughs> yeah, and you see, my brother, like, gave me, like, a bad headline, so. I'm having, like, a bad hair day, but I'm rocking it. Yeah, cool. you're right, and people, if you just need them, pass it up for. Okay. Yeah. It's just this thing. So, yeah. how's music been like for you? Well, growing up, did you say you're going to do music? Actually, the thing is, growing up, I like music i listen to a lot of music right yeah. and i just used to say i wish i was a rapper i never knew i was going to do it wow now i'm dope man that joke oh my god yeah i told you guys so that's that just everything it. just start right now that's so, it, um, being a rapper it's different here in nigeria because yeah one of the genres popping up is afro beats and you see a lot of people you find red people doing rap yeah. and so why rap well, the thing is, it's one of the dying cultures, like you said, yeah, but those that still have the passion for it, we need to carry on tradition. Mm. That's why we try to stay as flexible as possible. Like, if you play the Afro pop thing for me right now, the Afro pop thing, trust me, I'll do my rap thing on it and let you see the relevance of rap still. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Yeah. That, that's, yeah. that's the thing, man. So, like, there's a revolution now yeah. in the game. Like, there are some upcoming artists now doing their thing, you know? Like some, like I don't want to say names, you know. Yeah. For yeah, but there's a revolution, and it's happening, and I'm part of the revolution. Yeah, that's nice. That's nice. Now, yeah. listen to your music. You have a very different form of rap. Now, many people want to tell you, rather tell you their rap style with um, Eminem or with um, J Cole. Yeah. You know, what, what's your unique sense? What's your unique selling point in your rap? Well, it's the fact. I never lie on the verse. Mm. I never lie on the verse. You give it to them for there's, there's a thin line between seeing the truth and speaking things into existence. Mm. You feel me? Like, when I'm saying some things that probably I haven't lived yet to happen, happen. Sure. I'm not lying. I'm premeditating. Mm. And premeditation has got to me here so far. Mm. That's, that's and we're going that, somewhere. That, that's I never lie on the verse. It's just the fact. All my verses are facts. I said, while I'm sitting here in the studio, if the studio door opens right now and the person that works in it's your dream collaborator, the person you always want to work with, who would that be? <laughs> dream collaborator. Ah, nice. Wow, wow, dream collaborator. Um, I can't really see, like, it's not, it's not like I really have role models, man, but... Really? If Nas works in this door right now, Nas, yeah. Nas is my dad. You'd be like, yeah, my dad, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. like, yeah. Nas, yeah, Nas. <laughs> <laughs> and so, um, while we're wrapping up this, what are the challenges you faced so far in the music industry? Because the thing is, every terrain is different, you know. Why in other state, other state is different from Lagos, different from Abuja, different from West Africa in its sense. And so, breaking into different levels, you meet challenges. And so, what are the challenges you've seen so far? Well, 
challenge is well the thing is like you said rap is not really much appreciated so the only challenge like you really face is just people giving that listen that listening ear okay. that's just the thing because like when the song starts playing the first thing i always rap like uh when it's no um you know the normal way that they dance mm. to the vibe to once you just hear the rap thing or that trap thing coming up most people are like man you get me the challenge is just that listening ear okay that's just the thing anywhere mostly in lagos because Lagos now, for example, now people like to groove in Lagos. Yeah. They love to groove in Lagos, <laughs> actually. You get me? And it's a different thing in Abuja. Yeah. Abuja now is vibing that some underdogs that are rapping and doing their thing now in Abuja. They are changing the game. Abuja has always had that eccentric vibe. Yes. Always. Like, I schooled in ABJ, so like, I like, had like a little feel of their vibe. They have this eccentric vibe and I love it. And um, um, so, it's just that listening here, basically. And like, Tango for the revolution is coming. I said, so where do you see rap in Nigeria in the next three years, four years? Um, in the next three years, four years. In Nigeria, you know, right now, if you're talking about rap in Africa, most people want to see South yeah. Africa, you know? Yeah. In three, four years, it's to be Nigeria. Nigeria, yeah? Yeah. I think, I think Nigeria has a form of ripple effect when it comes to music. And if you look at the international scene, Nigeria is really breaking up. And so, do you feel that we are getting it right in the music industry? Yeah, 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 we are. Hell yeah. Why do you say that? You no, know, we are. I mean, look at, look at, look at Bono Boy's yeah. album right now. Right there. Right there. Right, we're getting there, man. Right there. Right there. Like, the movement is, is, is wild. It's wild, man. We're getting there. I, I'll see that, yeah, we're, we're drinking from the right sources. I mean, check this Beyonce's album that dropped now. Yes. Even the Metro Booming one. Whiskey, whiskey, whiskey. Like, I mean, you know, they're even drinking from us now. Yeah, it used to be the other way around. Yeah, they're drinking from us now. And we're doing our thing, so. That's, that's, that's amazing. Right, so while we're wrapping up this aspect of the conversation, I want you to, you know, from your heart, just talk to people that are push, pushing music, people that you feel that. You know, there are other points where they, they want to give up for people to feel like this is not it anymore because I've discovered that you might have a passion for something, yeah. but that doesn't mean you will not come up with roadblocks. And so, what about people that are really pushing you make career music? You know, it's not easy, man. Like, even for me, like, my first album dropped on 9 January this year. Wow. I'm actually a rap duo, it's Cartello and my homie Torres. Oh. They do this thing together. There's no me without him. There's no. You know, you get me. So like, I'm sure the next episode we're gonna bring. To oh our yeah, yeah, yeah. He's not in the country right now, but hell yeah, man. He knows I'm here right now. I'm okay. sure he's probably watching. You oh. feel me? So the thing is, um, it's not easy. Like the first album, we, I never had a studio. Oh. And what's crazy is me and Torres never were in the same studio recording. I do my part. I send it to him. He does his part. He sends it to. I could vibe like that. It's not easy. And then you know, producers, upcoming producers, even if they are your guys. They will still want to take something from you. <laughs> like, so, and we are doing this, like, it's not like our parents, our parents give us that support, but trust me, like, there's a lot more to it. You need to, like, finance yourself, like, so, there's so many things that you could be thinking about that will weigh you down, but okay. now, you need to just keep doing it, man. Believe in yourself. Mm -hmm. You know, that belief is important. All right, all right. So, that is, you heard it from Cartello himself. The way you spelled your name is different from how your name is pronounced, but we're not going to go into that school today. Alright, we're going to go with the aspect of this. And like I told you guys, it is season one. And this is the time where you need to tighten up your seat belts. Currently, we have Pepinazzi in the studio and he's going to be coming up next on the grill show. But before we go, of course, Castella is going to be performing for us. Jeez. Yeah. Are we ready? Are we ready? You better be. Yes. Okay. So let's go. Okay. Ah, I like your color, the color of your hair. It's, it's, I'm not going to try it. Oh, take a look. Oh, key thing from the top. Mm -hmm. 
Tell me up, tell me up. Yeah. This song is actually a story though, so just listen. I was trying to get payback on her because she was messing around. Lying to me every time, living with her nuts in my mouth. Allow me, I'm getting emotional. And choosing you was intentional. Cause you both don't get along and you don't like it. Anytime that I mention that you got a boyfriend and you got a best friend, that's two guys. I only got two nines in my hotel with emotions like suicide. Because the feelings they be killing me. You told me stop putting them pills in me. But I'm proper tonight cause you saw me today. I really, I thought you was ignoring me. And it's such an irony. In a room for two that I'm all alone. With my demons, I'm getting up in my zone Thinking like, would you come? No dumb brother, by the end of this verse I'll be over you You put a lot of niggas over me I love you when you call me poppy I hate you for leaving me hanging Tonight I'm really starting to doubt you Cause I've been hearing things about you And Valentine's Day is torture If it's Valentine's Day without you See, I said a love trap Baby, QP is just the Arab you dope on a love trap, kinda sling you, I'm addicted but no crack I'm putting the love in the box, I'm keeping it locked, I'm trapping the love Say you was my trap queen, I'm I'm trapping the love By the end of the song I'll be over you, this is a love verse, I'm a rap for you I'm putting the love in the closet, I'm keeping the love while I'm trapping the that rap is going to have lots of evolution and yeah. the fact that there's a story behind this makes it much more real. I, I vibe to the beat. Wow, that's yeah. nice. Yeah. Okay, now I think I would do it on the groove. We go down, up, then. So let's do it again. Okay. Down, down up. Yeah! Thank yeah. you so Can much. Can I show you mine? Okay, you yeah, sure. Okay, do this. Okay. One, One, two, two this. Oh, that's okay. Oh, there we go. Come on, meet me after. Mika, I need to play the air. Women are men of the law because you know it's a very uh, uh, he, he prefers something. I'm, I'm, I'm a child of Christ. Yeah, child, 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 that, 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 so, that's so, it. That's so, it. Well, I'm the same thing. There's no, there's no affiliation whatsoever. No affiliation whatsoever. So don't come <laughs> asking any questions. I'm looking for nobody, man. Yes. Nobody wants struggle. Let's go back. All love. <laughs> we may soon come to the end of this exciting side of the interview of the conversation on the grill show sit back relax when we come back we're continuing from where we stop stay there nothing but everything it's the breakfast show on tsl nigeria tv Welcome to uh, the one on one with Kyle Medupe. That's one of the clothes. They quickly take their uniform off. Because they are vulnerable. There is no way from the layman's point of view. Thank you very much, brother. To come and do their wire press down and their. their what the. 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 on the go all day every day subscribe to our youtube channel on tsl nigeria space tv and join our online family and we are back I've changed the sets. Now, for those of you that get to watch the show, you know I used to say that I pray every day I would never sit on this side of the grill show. Now, the only person that, or one person that actually made me do this is Pepe Nazi. I don't know how he did it, but he just did it's it. It's my show. But it's my show. It's my it's show. It's my show, bro. <laughs> 
It's, 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 uh, yeah. The title of the show, The Grill. The Grill. And you, brought, I, it, has, you brought Pepe. Yes. For The Grill. And, and I, I'm the hot one. So we have we to, can't be hot we together. Size, we right? can't be hot. <laughs> <laughs> but how are you doing, man? Okay, okay, so let's yeah. let, let's do the shake we do on The Grill show. So we go in like this. Like um, Catalonia. Like Catalonia. Yeah. Affiliation. No affiliation. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so uh, there you go. Yay. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. how are you doing? I'm good. I'm great. I, I love your I love your glasses. I love your hair. And then I don't really, I'm really indifferent about beard gangs, guy. I know a lot of girls are shouting in the background, Oh, Pepe, is here! Like, it's beard! And the obvious is like a form of identity. Oh! It's like, oh, you want to describe that guy? That guy that has nice beards. Oh, my God! <laughs> cut around and everything. Yeah. So how are you doing? I'm good, I'm great. How, how was? It's amazing to be in Benin. Oh, I, I knew you were in Benin two years ago. I've been to Benin like four or five times now. How was it like? Amazing, you guys like to turn up. You turn up. Yeah. You just turn up on a Thursday, on a Wednesday. Every day. So anytime you call me, I'll definitely come through. Like, like semi, as, like semi Lagos. As long as the you know the rabbi is involved. <laughs> so, trust me, man. I love the city. Mm -hmm. I, I love the realness. I love the ambiance. I love everything about this place. Amazing, yeah. amazing. Come around when you guys come. Amazing, amazing. And um, you've been in the game for a very long time. Yes. I, I have, I've been following you as a fan, and as I, I don't know, not an admirer, just a fan. So this. And I've seen your work. I've seen um, how far you have stayed. And um, when I was told you were coming, I started thinking about it. I'm like, oh, we're going to have the Benazi, amazing. Mm -hmm. And the fact that you're not affiliated with any form of clique in the music industry, why is that? Um, I, I think for me, it's I, I love to be independent. Okay. Um, apart from the fact that uh, music is the thing, you know, I started being independent back then in university for that time. Secondary school, you know, I was lucky to be the show director. I, I made sure that everything I achieved was, you know, more self made. Mm. You know I mean? Because sometimes affiliation it's, it's a problem. You know? Sure, sure. If someone is going down, you probably might be going down with them. Mm. So sometimes when you, if there's a failure, you know, you take you take all blames. Yeah. And of course, if there's a past too, you know, you celebrate yourself. Sure. And if there's a past, people celebrate with you as well. Sure. So I think that's been. My trick that has been working for me, and yeah. Amazing. Now, um, you've come a long way. Uh, many see, people. Uh, they, 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 you they, come a long way. Come less. I don't hold. I know you're not, man. Oh, you're not. You're not. <laughs> <laughs> now let's talk about let's talk about growing up for you. I, I, knew, I knew you grew up in Surulere. And uh, yes, and, and on Instagram, I saw a picture of her when you and your other brother Dutton went back to the hood, you know, to visit. Okay. You know, and I, I did my research. Come on, oh, I did my research. Went deep. Yeah, and, and so I, I knew of how you guys went in and how you guys were pointing to the ropes where you spread your clothes. Oh, you know, the people you played with, the shops, but clothes well, the ER, one fair lady like that. You know, and all of that. But while you were younger, did you ever feel that you were going to attain to this point of fame? Did you ever think that you're going to get to this point where you be, you become a reference point for success? Um. I would say for me, where we stayed was was very funny. Yeah. You know, when you you have parents that they just want you to do the right, they want you to do the right thing. Pretty strict. Well, everybody you have around you, <laughs> they are probably not doing the right thing. <laughs> you know what I mean? But at, at the end of the day, we just felt like we had the direction, we had mm -hmm. we had where we were heading mm -hmm. towards, and um, all of that all together kind of built up what we are right now. You know, apart from the fact that, that there were a lot of influences around, we just yeah. knew that at the end of the day, we have to make something happen for ourselves. Mm. You know, we're not going to uh, walk that same lane, you know, these people are walking. And that kind of helped us, you know, dot soon, we shout out to the team. Yeah! Uh, I don't know, I don't know who told you, it's my brother, shout out. Ah, he retweeted my tweet! Yes, we'll put it out here. <laughs> we shout out to the team, you know, he's, he's a great guy. You know, he kept pushing, he kept pushing. Um, I kind of got motivated, you know, based mm -hmm. on the fact that I knew that, ah, bro, as you said, no, you know, green now, you know, green, yeah? mm -hmm. you said no green, and to date, you know, we've been doing the right for, our growth has been very, very organic. Yes, well. yes. It's not that uh, everything just happened. Yes. You know? So I knew how I was pushing out content, you know, concurrently, till things started happening for me, and the same thing for him. Apart from that, um, if you are bound for glory. Definitely become that's true. true. You're a star, you're a star. That's true. That's true. So, so how has it been like working with 
the likes of Tiwa Savage, Olamide, and uh, Young John. I know you've worked with these people, and um, the fact that they've been in the internationals, and do you see yourself breaking out in no time soon? You know, like I said, you know, every man wants to project, but what's most important is your growth being organic. Mm. You know, uh, being with Tiwa was an amazing journey. I, I never thought that was going to happen, but she, she's just a, she's a pleasant. Um, uh, she's a pleasant artist. Mm -hmm. um, the way she related to us and everything, because I already recorded her show already. Yes. Um, I spoke with Mastercraft. I put you for you. Feature. Mm. Song, and you know, we had to just you know, there was this party. Tiwa Savage. Okay. You know, we put a call through to Tiwa, and she had the song. Funny enough, it was even Don Jazzy who recorded that bus. Oh, really? <laughs> so, man, she loved the song, and she was like, she's ready to jump on it. Uh, she recorded in. Few days, you know, we shot the video. She came on set too. Amazing, amazing, yeah. amazing. She was just very pleasant, and you know, it was an amazing journey for me. I would say, but yeah, in terms of growth, I feel like time, time is everything. Time is just everything. Walking, yeah. The resilience. Uh, I'll be selfless and don't stop. Mm, that's amazing. Now let's talk about your latest single, yeah. Unnecessary. Yeah, yeah. And um, you used your band, you vibed a lot, talking about lots of adage and proverbs, uh, featuring um, Shizu. Am I correct? Yeah, Shizu, yeah, Shizu yes. I got it. That's my guy from way back. Oh, yeah. way, way back. <laughs> Shout out to him. And, uh, whoa, that's amazing. Now I listened to the song and um, one thing that struck me was the fact that we've seen that our languages are becoming infused in music mm -hmm. and the fact that you could use Yoruba to, co to communicate. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people that don't even understand Yoruba, they could vibe to it. They could understand because m music is like a universal language and so they could vibe to it. So what was the inspiration behind that verse you wrote by yourself? Uh. I read all my yes. all my verses. The, the, the particular yeah. one you, you said you, you wrote, I can't remember the lines, but okay, now that you said you wrote all the verse, what was the inspiration behind this particular one? Uh, it was just me linking to the things that I feel am I? Okay. You know, the thing is that there's a way you, there's a, there's a particular place you want to be, you want to find yourself. Okay. And it was just me, like um, Cancelo said, Yeah. you have to link him. And speaking to existence, yes. So basically, speaking the things that want into existence. Wow, yeah. that's amazing. Now you've been on Star Trek stage, you've been on uh, Copa stage. Shit. So the next stage I'm expecting you to see is on. Coachella. I'll just see. You just. I, I won't see that one. Let me just tell you. You just. You just put me in your box. I just follow you. No, but to get that. I came to Benin one time and I said, Ah, no, you. I know you. <laughs> So, um, you've talked about growth being organic. These days, we see a lot of young artists, people that are emerging in the music industry, they don't have that staying power. A lot of people, they don't want to stay and build, yeah. you know, and have a very solid foundation that will stand the test of time. You know, what is your advice to that? Because at the end of the day, people are watching. And you see that when they don't stay and build, at the end of the day, they just phase out. Do you understand? And so what do you think young people could do, you know, to stay relevant? And a word of advice from a sage like you? I feel what, one thing is staying true to yourself. You okay. have to stay true and be very original. Okay. Um, you have to just understand the fact that it's not what you see on TV. Uh, it, it might not be the real um, picture. Okay. So don't get carried away. Just stay focused and stay real, stay real, stay real, stay true to yourself. Mm. Be very, very original. Okay. And with that, people recognize you. It might take time, but people just look at, oh, this guy, I like his sound, the sound is very distinct. Mm. I like his personality, mm. it's real. You know, yeah. It's important that an artist should own his craft, own your craft. Take it like a job. You know, don't play around with it. Don't get carried away with the fact that, oh, if I'm coming for a gig, I have to do what I see do want to hmm. people feel like making music is attached to you know drugs um you know those crazy things yeah that so some people basically are coming into the industry to do those things apart from the fact that they want thing they're coming to the industry to say ah this is what i want to do so that's like a motivation hmm. and at the, end of, at, the end of, at the end of the day that motivation might drown you yeah and before you know what is happening you freeze out Wow. Were there times where you felt like music were not your, was not your thing? Were, were there times where you just felt like you should just live like a normal Nigerian man? 
a nine to five man. Where the times where you just felt like this is not clicking, and at the end of the day, you you entered into other seasons where you felt like it was worth it. I think the only time I felt that way was when I lost my privacy. Oh. You know what I mean? When you come to those regular things. You can't buy a malaji, yeah, please. Um, you I can't. Like, I like streets. You like street? Oh, really? so really, boy, they stole it. They stole it. Oh. Yeah, apart from that, okay. At the moment, I can't stop and stop. You know what I mean? Yeah. I would just start with a company at the end of yeah, the day. Yeah, they. You not say, well, because you're not making sense, you won't come back up. Fast. Another person did for seven years. He waits me. Yeah, I pack up. Yeah, I pack up. <laughs> Marry, gunny. Yeah. Kind of yeah. So if it's your dream, if, if it's your talent, you know, God give every man. You know, one particular talent, and if you decide that I want to, I don't want to use that talent to to make things happen for myself. God will bless me. You. you know, what I mean, mm -hmm. and that happened in the Bible. Bible, yeah. Exactly. So, regardless, if things are happening and they're not working right, don't stop. Keep pushing. That's amazing. All right, with this, we're gonna go on a short break, like we always do it on the Grill Show. Penazi says this is a show, but this is not your show. No, I'm on your seat. Yeah, I'm my seat. Uh -huh. But does that who has the question? Because I've not started questioning you. Who has the question? Who has the question? Who are going to go and make every return? Who put Pepinazzi on the hut? Let's see if he's going to burn or if he's going to survive. Stay there. I'll be putting our guest on the hot seat for Pinaj. Let's see if he's going to burn or if he's going to survive. And he's just so excited to burn because of the things we have. <laughs> oh my God. He's just excited about that. So I'm ready. So you have to give your drum, your drum roll. What's the name of this segment? This is the grill show. The hot, the hot seat. The grill show. We're about to um, roast some eight. Ash, ash. <laughs> <laughs> no, I like that. Okay, so Lagos or Abuja? Lagos, of course. Why? Ah, because it's happening now. You can just step out now and start seeing drama. You know what I mean? Abuja, before you can see drama, you have to drag. <laughs> <laughs> Who doesn't do it? <laughs> <laughs> then why do you have your phone there? Eh? <laughs> exactly. Okay, so what's the best Wi Fi name you've ever had and the worst Wi Fi name? Um, I think I've, heard, I've seen God punish you. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, no login. I think I've seen no login. No login. Wow. Well, I've seen those crazy ones. Yeah, I hear some people just, you know, they give crazy names to your Wi Fi so that you don't even try and tap. Like you can get virus, Trust virus activated. So my problem is if you don't log in like this, or more, ah, your problem. <laughs> okay, so uh, what's the worst bus stop name ever you've had, like ever? An Ashwa Dra. What's that? You <laughs> say it again. Uh, what does that mean in English? An Ashwa Dra clothes. Clothes of prayer. Yeah. Ah, he could. I thought. You can't look the face. Yeah, you think they have one for you? Yeah. But it's more of those where you have this. Uh, I don't want to call names. Or yeah, I am. Okay, okay. So uh, I want you to recite state and capital. 
Let's go. Please, where's that apple? Because you see, before I see here, as I as I eat that plane, I don't drop. Oh. Like, when we say, oh, I need the, uh, I need pizza. <laughs> <laughs> now you were right when you said this. There we go. So yeah. I, can, I can go with this. Yes, you can go with this. Okay. You, could, you could even have drinks. No, it's fine. It's fine. Just, just apple. Those ones are like lifelines. Okay, lifelines. So. <laughs> okay, so what goes up and come down, but remains in one place. What goes up, and comes down. It means in one place. Is it rain? <laughs> rain. It's up and down now. It doesn't remain in one place. Rain used to fall like this, fall like this, fall like this. I think it's something you used to use every time. You even use it when you're coming here. Oh, really? Yes. I'm fancy me, can you need that one but the most serious are like you used it before you entered the studio. More clue, more clue. Okay, you used it. Should I continue this after? Yeah, <laughs> you have lifelines. But I'm not sure you used it mm -hmm. before you entered the studio. You used it before you entered the reception, before you entered the studio. Like from down to up. I've tried. Oh, which one will be from leg? Is it a leg or is leg? But I have a minute to up and start there. But I think it's not. It's wrong, Abi. Yeah? It's wrong. It's wrong. Exactly. It's wrong. It's wrong. The answer is stack kids. Really? That's true. Think about it. I actually didn't think about it. You didn't think about it? Okay, so next question. Okay. How many colors? How many mention three colors on the Nigerian coat of arms? Three colors? Yes. They have color. Okay. They have color now. Nigerian coat of arms. Nigerian flag. No, not Nigerian flag. Nigerian coat of arms. Okay, uh, I think we have white. Okay. Those horses are white, yeah. Mm. Black. Black. Yeah. And the, the white thing is white as well. What color are you? Are you asking me? <laughs> you no, 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 I'm asking you. <laughs> What's the color of an eagle? I don't know. I don't think that. I don't. I think it's black or green. Black. Eh? Have you seen a green eagle before? Exactly. So it's black. Thank you. I said three colors. You've mentioned just two. Green. Yeah. There's green down beneath. Green. The grass. Yeah, even the flower. Me, I want to find my kid. The question. Oh yeah. The flower did that thing. Yes. Flowers. Yeah. Red. Red. You tried. You tried. You tried. So while we're in secondary school, we're rounding up the section. So while we're in secondary school, in primary school, there were a couple of songs we sang. Yeah. When you want to eat. Food, oh yeah, food. sing it. Yeah, let's go. No food. We have food and we can eat. Go with me to the yoga. Amen. Let this go, no love for Christ's sake. Amen. The next one. If you don't give me pants, chop your <laughs> <laughs> Which one you give um... Okay, then sing a matching song. Yeah, H-H-P-P-Y. Was that your favorite one? Ah, yes. We're <laughs> 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 happy now. Okay, so last question. Yeah. Who is the current Senate president of Nigeria? Who is the current one? Senate president. Most people know your post, no? <laughs> well, yeah, you. I'm sorry, man. You know, he, he doesn't he didn't help him, so he doesn't know your name. Help him if you know your name. Help him if you know your name. Okay, so finally, Pepinazi, before we go, yeah, if somebody should open our studio door right now and work in, and you literally, you'll not pass out, you just do. Baba Twali, you are the one I've been waiting for all my life. Ah. I said, Lagos boy, that you are, who would that be to work with? I'm local. No, local or international? I, uh, I have, I have praise love for Lauren Hill. Okay. Apart from the fact that you know she's a lyrical progress, she's amazing. All right. Uh, I think she has just one album, The Persecution of Lauren Hill, and to date, the album is sick. You know, I love an artist who is about to talk. Yeah. And and so I have crazy love for Lauren Hill. Amazing. Yes, yeah, so if I say my mom. 
Twan. Twan So tell us about your um, upcoming album. Ah. You have research too. I know you're, you're, you're working releasing your album, and I also be there in the listening party. So I, want, I, I feel I have the privilege to find out first. Like, it's all good. Yeah. Um, I'm planning to put out my debut album. Okay. You know, that's my, course, my collective body of work, and I feel like it's a long time coming out there and pushing out. Content. Yes. Right time. You have a collective project. So yeah. I'm looking at mid September, gracefully. Right. And um, big shout out to the guys that I worked with, mm. you know, Mastercraft, Young John, Fields, that piano, and the rest of them. I have some crazy futures on it as well. So wow. watch out for it. I have a guy from Burkina Faso, of course. There are some names that are, you know, you know them. Yeah. All. No shaking. So watch out for the album. It's going to be amazing. So yeah. Depths. You know what I mean? Don't bust everywhere. Two seconds. Try. That's why they say it here. Try. So tell, tell us about the gig that is happening today. The reason yeah. why you are in Benin. Benin. Ah. You know, I, I, I think last year when I came, I think was, I was celebrating my birthday. Oh, you know, wow. It was really, really amazing. But yes, I'm here for Club Joker. Joker is nice family too. Uh -huh. um, I love the people. We shout out to the bad man, right there, Jay. Yeah. And, yeah. You know, I just love the fact that anytime I come around, it's all love. Uh -huh. So yeah, we came here for music and music. I don't know, we have a problem, but where's the live band? <laughs> where's the live band, sir? I mean, but we're going to have a great time. You know, it's always going to be better the bank. Chill, yeah. interact, you know, of course. Oh. Amazing. Uh, yeah. I can't wait. I can't wait to and see I that. Yeah. So that they don't bring the food. This <laughs> tablo we carry. Well, okay. Big shout out to Club Joker. Club wow. Love. Uh, anytime you guys come, I always come on. Amazing. I so said quickly, I want you to make a shout out to TSN Nigeria TV. All right. Yes. What's going on, my people? You should go recognize the man with the bag, the man that can stop. Stop and you're watching TSL or TV stick around. Easy. Meg. Meg. Alright, we've come to the end of this exciting episode of The Grill. I really want to cry right now because it's the grand finale of season one. And uh, this one is just eating this apple to pepper my eyes. One <laughs> but I'll be here same time next week and we are opening season two with a party. Area. Pari. Pepe Nazi will not be here. He has gone to Lagos that time. So we'll pepe him from here to Lagos. So yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so do want to tune in same time. Next week we'll be kicking off season two with your home girl, Neke Moya. And I am leaving you with this one from Pepe Nazi. If you know Illegal, if you know Lamide, if you know Pepe Nazi, <laughs> that's Banga hitting the club. Still hitting the clubs. Mm -hmm. So just watch. And I'll be here next week. It's a bye for now. It's Tell me the things you want to do when You not tell you to pop to when I'm a hoes and the boys soon, man Ha! Malo wa wo ilega Mo ba wo de mi so di bi ti meda Ha! We are supporting me with that Say be because that they say it's illega Over that yeah. food is the second wife for blood And why I go look back never Never If you are getting it, getting it, getting it, getting it And then you are clever Never Know that shall be showers of blessing Showers of blessing rain on me the yeah. time is quarter past two. Down low so all it. Down the roof to all it. All it for my game. The time is quarter past two. Now go for all it. Don't you walk away with it. But I live while it is.
They say it is stupid if you are spending no war with Kanuko. Let the money be stinky, so when they smell it, they will always let, let us go. go. Our Raye Gigi Yaga, Yaga. our money is my lady Gaga. Gaga. Oh, you know what's okay, Kuba? Do right your lega is making it lega. Lega. Gaga, Wait, wait, continue. continue.